Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the January 10th, 2020 uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Cancer. Now, as far as the basic meaning of a uh, full moon lunar eclipse, I mean, of course, it's, it's like a regular full moon, but it can be more amplified, more intensified, much more powerful, have more prodigious uh, effect on people. And the thing about this, too, is, uh, and again, very amplified energy it could be very strong, powerful, unrestrained, uninhibited emotional energy and outbursts, sometimes a declaration. This could be something that may have been bottled up and suppressed for a very protracted period. Unlike a, a full moon, a regular full moon, you might have held back for, for some time. But I would say, given that we're talking about a, a lunar eclipse, a full moon, this is something which may have been held back for, for a very, very long time. And finally, the, all the suppressed energy comes out and comes to a head and may actually have life altering implications as opposed to something that may not with in terms of a, in, in contrast to a regular uh, full moon. Now, the thing about this is. Uh, this could, I mean, this could obviously, I mean, a, a full moon lunar eclipse can have an impact on all signs collectively, but especially the zodiac sign Cancer. In this case, I mean, not just because the moon does rule Cancer, it's going to be in the zodiac sign Cancer. Moon, again, does rule Cancer, of course. A lot of this, I think, is attributed to why the zodiac sign Cancer can be so moody, temperamental, and fickle. Now, especially if this is going to make a conjunction to one's Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, it's going to be a very uh, intensified uh, energy uh, at this time. Now, also, too, I mean, looking at this, this could be a, I uh, mean, time, too, where there could be, when you're talking about full moons and astrology and lunar eclipses, could even be in a higher level, a greater propensity for accidents, and it can be due to very strong, powerful, emotional energy. I mean, being in Cancer, I mean, this could be due to a very strong mood swing, um, being sensitive to some environment or extraneous influence. It could be something over, even something which would seem very trite over. It could be somebody angry over some criticism or ridicule or derogatory remarks, oversensitivity. And of course, given that this is taking place on a lunar eclipse, be very careful because the accidents uh, well, uh, not necessarily going to be perilous, but they could have, they could be more powerful and more damaging, whether it could be to your vehicle or to your, or your physical body or both at this time, I would say, because this is very amplified energy. We are talking about not just a regular full moon, but one that is a lunar eclipse. So it's very, again, very, not to be overly redundant, but very amplified and intensified energy. Now, when you're talking about full moons and, and lunar eclipses at astrology, it could be a very strong ending or culmination to something that you may have been connected with for some time. And again, might have some very protracted or even life altering implications. This could be a time for many where they've put an end to something that, that's family or home related, something that's close a uh, person that they're close to home with or something that they might felt close to home with something that had some sentimental value to the person it could be something nostalgic that might come to an end it could be a time to where some people begin to say even matters with introversion if you're a person that's been uh, inside or, or hasn't gone the outside world or you feel like you've been kind of running from the outside world to some degree and been somewhat reclusive and been too much of a homebody it could be that opportune time where you might become I mean really tired of this and begin to say okay I'm going to come out of my shell this is the time now to do it I'm tired of being in it and also a time where maybe in some perhaps in some cases where it come and there's an ending that comes to that was associated with somebody that you had nurtured and cared for for a prolonged period something that you showed a lot of dedication and even unequivocal love to might come to an end at this time and it might be something that could be I felt it could be something on a very permanent or very long uh, you know protracted period at this time now or it could even be I mean this is a, a thing too um, where you're where you're looking and, and also Cancerian energy sadly 
can be about you know running away from things that, that they you know cancer uh, can't person can't fight because it's not like leo or aries uh, where i mean leo energy and aries energy of course is a lot more about valor and courage and fortitude and this is no knocking about cancer i have a cancer son as many of you may know and cancers will uh, often retreat and more so than usual I mean more so at least comparatively speaking to a lot of the other zodiac signs when they can't fight uh, some battle or combat something they'll often retreat so this cancerian energy uh, be about becoming really about it could be an ending of maybe cowering or 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 trying to avoid certain something that needed to be confronted those are some ways this could manifest and pan out now, in some cases, I mean, I mean, given that this is a full moon lunar eclipse, this could be a very strong, powerful revelation and unveiling. It could be something connected with one's roots, one's ancestry, a family situation. It could be a time where you may have looked uh, research with a lot of tenacity and, and really a lot of dedication, devotion into some history or regarding a family member and something very shocking can come up at this time. It could be over. It could even be, it could be about somebody being a home wrecker or maybe finding out about some criminal background, say if Pluto is involved in this somehow, uh, in, in this energy uh, for you in your own chart. It could be somebody that maybe I mean, if it's say the home record, say if this is adverse, you know, making an adverse aspect to one's natal Mars, that might increase that propensity, or even some promiscuous behavior might be revealed over someone because Cancerian energy, sadly, in a negative manifestation, could be about being loose in practices that are of a sexual uh, nature and infidelity, sadly. And don't get me wrong, Zodiac Cancerian energy, Cancer people. I mean, Cancerian people, Cancer Sun, Moon, Ascendant people can often be very loyal and dedicated and show unequivocal love, but at the same time, in a negative sense, I mean, the Cancerian energy can incline toward what I described before. It could be some revelation or unveiling regarding some hoarding issue, whether it might be with yourself becoming cognizant of it, or maybe somebody else you may know. I mean, let's say this takes place in the eighth house in one's chart. This could be about a family secret that's very shocking that can be uh, un unveiled or something that um, that is emotionally taxing could come to an end. Even if this is in the 12th house, this could be about a family or home related secret that it, that comes out that could be very surprising you and say if it makes an adverse aspect to your natal Uranus or even a conjunction in some isolated cases most of you aren't going to have Uranus in Cancer I'm so but if it makes an adverse aspect to your natal Uranus that could be something that could be really shocking and unanticipated that may come out uh, at this time now another thing too is when you're looking at uh, full moon lunar eclipses in astrology this could be about a time where one becomes very tired, full, very exasperated, some very full of something like the full moon. Now, given that this is in Cancer, this could be about over, over somebody maybe that was overly dependent or clingy or overly protective uh, of yourself or even a brooding person that's been brooding or lamenting over something for so long and uh, or maybe a person or that's over that's intro overly introverted and maybe yourself in some cases I mean let's say this is falling in the first house in one's chart this could be a time where one becomes tired exasperated full of their own cancerian tendencies and say they have a cancer ascendant so anyway and also it could be a time where one becomes very tired full exasperated over somebody that might be overly sensitive or somebody that required a lot of pampering or a self-pitying person at this time that they were constantly feeling sorry for oneself and it could be a time where in some cases where you might actually break things off with this person and this situation comes to an end because unlike regular full moons of course lunar eclipses in astrology I could see I see it as being you know so much more powerful it could be where it's life altering where it's, you're talking about um, greater propensity for permanent ending so anyway well the thing about this too is that also when you're talking about um, you know full moons and astrology and, and lunar eclipse could be on a higher scale or, or have greater um, you know, greater results as a result a result of this I mean it could be about going public with something 
Now, given that it's something cancerian, it could be something like going something home related, like a household, a new advanced uh, innovative household robot, or like one of those those vacuums that go around the house, those robot vacuum cleaners, you know, those circular ones that bounce off of everything. And it could be one that doesn't bounce off things and move around erratically. I think they, they actually do have one that's more systematic. <laughs> but anyway, you understand what I'm saying. Some kind of home, it could be some cancerian type product that somebody goes out with and, 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 and demonstrates publicly. But the thing is, the difference, I would say, between this and an actual regular full moon is that this could be something that could have more of a monumental impact on one's life, whether it's greater prosperity or, or it leads to greater notoriety or recognition or what have you. So this is something where... Uh, where the, the, you're talking about lunar eclipse energy could be more impactful, could be more intensified in terms of the outcome and the result of the things that are taking place at this time compared to a regular full moon. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that. I'm back. Anyway, well... It's important to look at the uh, you look at the house that this falls in as this of course could impact the delineation and interpretation. Now mine is going to fall in my third house. So I'm hoping this isn't going to be the ending to some dedicated or devoted communication at this time because I mean I don't want to stop doing my astrology videos. Uh, but at the same time anything is possible but I don't see that as something that could uh, how it could manifest that way for me I think with me a lot of it can become just becoming very tired full exasperated of some home fluctuation and instability I've been very parapetetic to say the least and bouncing around from one place to another keep in mind that cancerian energy could be connected with the home and the third house is short journeys and it's arguably it might irrebuttably be the most unstable of all the houses in the zodiac because the third house of course corresponds with the zodiac sign gemini so you understand what i'm saying it could be a time where i become really tired and full very exasperated of bouncing around from home, one home situation to another and maybe this is the time where i'm more cognizant of it and i want to have some stability having a taurus ascendant that really reaffirms it because taurus rising people do love stability and even though i mean having a cancer son of course i could be very inclined toward numerous changes in resonance moon and gemini obviously doesn't help matters because that could give a lot of restless mobile energy in um in your home and as far as your living situation in your home life because the moon of course can be connected with the home but anyway back to this my delineation on uh this cancerian full moon lunar eclipse now it's also important to look at the aspects that it makes to points in your chart because of course this could impact the delineation and interpretation now um, the thing about it is mine is going to make a conjunction to my natal Mars. So what I described before in terms of becoming perhaps tired, exasperated, full, so to speak, of uh, over an unstable home family, uh, home and you know, living situation, it could be more acrimony in connection with that and hopefully a little bit more courage that is associated with this energy and willing to put an end to that with some uh, Mars Martian courage and fortitude at this time and it's more action oriented to given that Mars can be associated I would say with action so and the thing about this too is it's also going to make a sextile to my Taurus ascendant. So hopefully this should give some light energy and, and really uh, Taurus, you know, light and energy that could have been stored for some time to be able to actually deal with this and maybe do something about uh, the situation with a lot of calm, placid, uh, outward Taurian energy at this time and do so very methodically and calmly. So anyway um now the thing is too uh if this is going uh the thing about this now as far as health goes now let's say if this falls in one's first or sixth house in one's natal chart now this could be an unveiling of a cancerian health related issue 
this is going, I mean, it could be something with the breast or the chest or stomach area. I'm not saying it would necessarily be perilous, but it could be something that could be more serious than a general, uh, than, than say if it was just a regular uh, full moon. I mean, a regular full moon could just be like a stomach virus or some, you know, um, just like a stomach ache, something that could be a more minor, I would say, on average. But considering this is a full moon lunar eclipse, it's important to be very careful, people. I mean, I mean, it could be some tomb or, or something that could be where it, you might require more care of a physician in contrast to a regular uh, full moon. Um, so, Anyway, um, it could be pulling something like in the chest or breast area, and it really, uh, and, and again, this could be something that's a little, I would say, more of a serious nature that could be Cancerian uh, related. So, anyway. Now, uh, and the thing about this, too, is it's also important to look at the electional aspects this makes us. This could impact the delineation and interpretation as well. Now, I noticed one that stood out to me is that this is going to make a very tight opposition to Mercury in Capricorn. So a lot of people are going to be dealing with this adversarial energy when there, there could be thoughts on one's ambitions, one's career are going, and even pessimistic thoughts could be opposing finishing or completed completing something cancerian related whether it might be something with home or modeling or renovation or could be ending a family situation or squabble or or what have you at this time or I mean anything or some gardening project or or trying to close a real estate deal um, and under pressure to do so this could be where you could be, I mean, this is going to make anything, you know, I mean, this energy will be harder to deal with because you could be going back and forth on career related matters and home related matters at this time as well. It could be the somebody that makes the declaration, so to speak, of wanting a home and family life and wanting to have wanting to your their home and family life to figure more prominently in their life, life scheme and then opposing energy connected with thoughts on one's career and ambitions so it's really could be uh it could be very difficult energy to deal with uh at this time now also it's important to look at what degree this is uh because this could impact of course the interpretation and delineation as well this is going to fall at 20 degrees cancer now as far as sabian symbols go some cases this could be about trying to end too many things simultaneously something that could be very well cancerian uh related and obviously if you're trying to end too many things at once you may not end any of them at this time or trying to complete something or reach a culmination on some issue now and it could also accentuate the perhaps the ending of some connection with somebody that was overly temperamental flighty or moody at this time or, or had very strong mood swings at a very vacillating uh nature uh so I mean those are and those are somewhat those are somewhat thing ways that this could manifest and pan out uh, at this time uh, as well. So anyway, um, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for um, my take on the January tenth, two thousand twenty, uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Cancer part one and stay tuned next time where i'll be giving you uh my take on the uh on the january 10 2020 full moon lunar eclipse in cancer part two until next time people edwin learns saying stay well